Hi everyone. Recently I shared a video about how to create a power box without breaking your budget. You can use this power box for overlanding or camping and you get a lot of power out of it with a very reasonable cost. I will be using the Vectron Energy AC to DC charger. This one specifically is a 30 amp charger and um, I decided on this one because it will give me a faster charge time for this 100 amp uh, chins battery that I have in this box. I initially started with a 15 amp charger but I uh, changed it with this one uh, again due to uh, speed of charge number one. Number two, uh, this one is a bigger charger, uh, includes a fan and um, uh, hopefully, I'm hoping that it will not get as warm as the 15 amp charger. The 15 amp charger got super hot and uh, I just personally uh, didn't feel comfortable uh, using that one. So I opted into the 30 amp charger. So I will be uh, setting this charger up today. As you could see here. So these are the different charging stages and uh, it does charge different chemistry of batteries uh, obviously in this case i'm using lithium ion and uh, yeah you have to set up a cable for the battery so it, it, it's only it comes only as as this so there is no uh, connection between the charger and the battery and i purchased this uh, from amazon so you have to remove this cover by just pulling it like that and uh, it does have a 40 amp uh, fuse so I also purchased this uh, Vectron uh, energy smart uh, battery go. smart battery sense this should uh, give us um, the status of the battery uh, through Bluetooth. So I will put this on top of the battery uh, inside the box. So this one has uh, a two-sided uh, sticker here. And uh, this connects to the positive and negative of the battery. And this should give us uh, the status uh, of the battery. So let's start uh, creating the, setting up the cables for this one and then uh, connecting it uh, to the battery. To do that, I uh, purchased a gauge six uh, cable. That's what's recommended uh, by Vectron. And uh, I wanted to make sure I'm operating within the specs. So, um, I uh, did uh, get the cable ready, so I cut uh, five feet cable. I think that's gonna give me a decent amount of range. So the first one I will start is the Vectron side of connections. I will put a link to all the items that I'm using uh, in this setup. So I've already did this one, so just, I don't want you to spend a lot of time watching uh, the video without having value. So I did one, another one already, so I just put the insulation on it. That's it. So those two sides are done. other two ends I will be using uh, Anderson connector to connect to the battery that's 
it's rock solid. Second one is done as well. Perfect. So now we'll connect the cables to the charger. As simple as that. That one's on as well. Let's now connect the cable here. That's it. So now I could connect the charger to power. And it's on now. We'll change the mode to Ion. So I just connected uh, the positive and the negatives and uh, started blinking the Bluetooth and then I connected it to, uh, I will connect it to the uh, Victron Energy app and I will walk you through that. So this is how I put together the voltage and temperature sensor. Um, you see here uh, per the manual uh, they want it to be on the side of the battery, so this is uh, where I installed it right there. It has a two-sided uh, tape, so it sticks there, and uh, I can organize these cables as such, so they are not moving around, and that's pretty much it. Here we're connecting the voltage and temperature sensor to the app. Same thing, it's going to ask you for the six-digit pin code to pair it. And then as soon as you do that, the first time you pair it with your app, it will ask to update the firmware through Bluetooth. And uh, that's pretty standard for all Vectron uh, devices. And uh, it's a great thing that they make sure you're on the latest firmware before you start using the device or the sensor. And as, as it goes through that uh, fairly quickly, uh, then you will go back again to the screen which I will show in the next uh, video and um, you will log in again to it uh, here we go you tap and then it will ask you for the six zeros pin code or uh, you know uh, you pair it and then that shows you the voltage and the temperature here it gives you a graph uh, it captures the entire history uh, you could zoom out you could zoom in you could pause it and uh, it's uh, fairly uh, uh, detailed as far as, uh, you know, uh, second by second, minute by minute uh, status of how the voltage is, uh, you know, moving up if you're charging or how the voltage is moving down if you are consuming uh, 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 power from, from the battery. And same thing with the temperature. Uh, it gives you a good read about uh, what the kind of like the, the exterior uh, cover of the battery temperature is because remember the sensor is attached to the side of the battery um, so there's some probably not exact read of the actual temperature inside the battery component but it should be very close in the next screen i will show you how to uh, tie in the sensor into the charger itself you go to ve smart networking you create your network and then after you do that, it will show you the available device to pair with the sensor. You tap on it and you're all done. When you launch the app, you will see both uh, the charger and the sensor available for you. Tapped on the charger, asks you for the second uh, six digit uh, pin code to pair them together. And uh, you will see the details there. You see it's charging at uh, 15 amp. 
and here it's asking you to customize your pin code if you wanted to and um, so as soon as you get to the screen then you can go to the graph section and that shows you which uh, stage of charging the charger is at and then you go to the history and that gives you the details of each cycle of charging that you went through with your uh, battery and uh, you could view this on horizontal mode or vertical mode on your uh, smart device and uh, when you tap on the uh, graph it gives you more details so here we could go to uh, settings and you see here it is charging at 15 amp there's an option to change it to 30 amp and uh, the 30 amp is the one that basically the fan comes on if the battery is less than half full or it requires a lot of charging the fan will come on and it's kind of a little bit noisy if you're close by and then on the 15 amp the fan doesn't come on so they call it night mode uh, then you could you have an option to go to advanced and uh, expert mode uh, you see a lot more details most of the time you cannot change them and uh, but they give you details about uh, the state of charge and details about what each each stage of charge means in addition to the two USB connectors here and the 12 volt cigarette rider. I've also added another connection here to allow me to charge through USB C and uh, USB as well. So this one should allow me also to charge larger devices than the iPhone like iPad or even smaller computers through USB-C. So I'll put a link to this item as well. Pretty easy, straightforward in terms of connection. And uh, now it's tied up to the uh, main switch on the other side. So when I turn it off, uh, it turns off from here as well.